Okay, so the first question is for Dr. Panaccioni, if you don't mind. What are some of the short and long-term risks or side effects of using biologic and biosimilar medications? And are, are there any specific to biologic use in children? Yeah, and it's a great question. And I think it's one of the things that we need to discuss with patients when they decide uh, what drugs to go on. Um, we talked a lot about anti-TNF uh, tonight. And so anti-TNFs themselves um, are associated with a uh, an increased risk of uh, infection. So that increased risk of infection over a year is about to one in 10, where somebody may have like a bronchitis or an uh, upper respiratory tract infection or a urinary tract infection. Um, and then uh, out of those, about one in 100 will require biologic, I mean, an uh, antibiotic over a year. The ones that, the, the long-term side effects that uh, individuals on say an anti-TNF worry about or um, this originally there was thought to be an increased risk in what we call the lymphoma risk which is a blood cancer um, and some serious side and some serious more serious infections that risk now if you look at all the literature and systematic reviews that Paul does um, is very very low it's thought to be less than 0.1 per 100 patient years, meaning that as a patient, you'd need to be on the drug for a thousand years before you would be have one of those lymphomas arise. Or in, a, in, a, in my practice, I need like a thousand patients on it for a year. So infections, lymphoma, and then injection site reactions or in, or in what we call infusion reactions can happen in about two to 5% of uh, individuals. Some of the newer um, you know, biologics like um, Stellara, and I'll call them by their trade name because that's how most patients know them, Stellara and Intivio, the risks of sort of uh, lymphoma and serious infections don't seem to be the same. Um, they are described in the clinical trials at similar rates, but not at different rates than placebo. And then in kids, there, there is a very rare uh, lymphoma that was is described um, called a, a uh, it's related to lymphoma that, that's in the spleen, um, but that risk is now thought to be about one in 12,000. Um, and it's usually related to children who are on combinations of therapy. 